Good morning. It's February 29th. Current temperature outside is minus 5 degrees Celsius, which is 23 Fahrenheit. Today on the bus, I'm going to be doing small little things here and there. For starters, we're going to continue on with this fresh water tank back here. Right here, I'm going, to be I'm going to be drilling a four inch hole into the top of the tank so I can drill a small little hole at the base of the tank over in that corner so I can put this elbow connection inside. So I'll drill a small little hole just big enough for this to slide into the tank then I'll screw the two together screw the two together and that will be my fresh water output that will connect up to the water pump I'll screw the water pump in place I think I'm missing one connection here I don't think I have the proper connection for right inside here I'll have to double check that but yeah I'm pretty certain I'm missing that I'll figure something out. Then on this side I'm going to drill another four inch hole at the top for multiple holes that I have to drill into the side of this thing. At the base I'll be drilling a inch and a half hole right in the bottom corner over there so I can once I unscrew this, wow that's a lot of threads, so I can do something similar. This will be a drain. So I'm going to have an inch and a half hole right at the very big corner there for, the, for this so I can connect up this valve. Then at the top of the at the top of the tank, I'll be doing another connection like this, but this will be for the fresh water intake that uses, not that one, no where to go, there it is, for this hose. So my fresh water intake will have that, then I have to drill a small hole for this so I can have the air so air doesn't build up this will be the air exhaust that's the first thing I'll be working on I won't be filming that because that's just a small little cramped area you won't be able to see much in there then I'm going to come and finish off this ductwork get it over to the outside here but I won't be putting this cabinet in place just yet. I'm not exactly certain what fridge I'm going to be getting. I'm getting rid of this fridge. Even though I love it, it's a little too small and it doesn't have a freezer. I've been looking for pricing on freezers and the smallest they, one they have is a three cubic foot which is about the same size as this thing. And that's just a little too big. I saw a couple of fridges that have freezers that I like. I might get them, I haven't decided yet, but nonetheless I will be putting the ductwork in place for that. Then I'll come over here, I'm going to work on the flooring over here. I'll get the plywood in place for this section and that plywood is going to be a, se a separate piece because just in case by some bad luck that joint there can, uh, that joint fails I want access to it so I'm going to have a piece of plywood the flooring on top and four or five screws holding that in place so that will be on the agenda today I'll come in here and I'm going to make a manifold for my cold water so this connection is going to be moving over here 
And when I get it, when I start to work on this, I'll show you what I'm doing. It'll make more sense. If I have enough time today, I might work on the kitchen area, or I might work in the bathroom area, because I have the sinks and the faucets I can put in place. I pretty much want to start working from the back of the bus, coming this way, so I can say, good, I'm done back here, I don't have to worry about it anymore. So that's what's on the agenda for today. Hang tight and I'll come back to you and show you the finish of the plumbing of the tank. See you soon. Okay, we're back. I'm finally finished all the plumbing on the tank. Here's what it looks like. Ooh, you're bright. There we go. On this side. Naturally, that's the pump. That right there is a filter. This line I only have clamped in place because if that ever gets dirty or mo <clears throat> if that ever gets dirty or moggy, I can re remove it easily and clean it out. Then from this point to the valve, it's pexed, but I can still remove it because of that connection there. Oh yeah, and up here, here's that four inch hole. I will be putting some silicone around the edges here, but just not yet, because if dust still gets in there while I'm doing the construction, it will be a pain in the butt to remove that and clean it out. So that's just there until everything is done. On this side, I don't have the input in place yet. That'll be a project when it starts getting nicer out. But on this side, this is my fresh water input. This is the, what is this called? Air. What is this called? I'll have to look that up. I can't remember what that's called. Then down at the bottom, this is my drain. So if by chance I have to get all the water out, I just turn that valve. It's a very st stiff valve. And the water will drain. So that's what that looks like. Over here, oh, ooh, there we go. Over here, you might recall that the water came in this way, came up, and then it had a T here. So this is a makeshift manifold. So now the water comes up here, it'll be forced all the way over here, and then equal pressure throughout. And there's the hot water out. So that's all I have for now. Whoa, dark. Why isn't it changing? It's spinning around. There we go. So, that's it for now. I'll show you what I'm doing next once I figure out what I'm doing next. So, stick around. See you shortly. Okay, so that's it for today. I had to do some cleanup. Then I decided on what I was going to do next. Then it's like, oh, too late to do it. What I was planning on doing was first I have to install the tap before I can install the sink because it's an undermount sink and well that'll just get in the way of the tap or faucet sorry then over here in the bathroom I was getting ready to do the same thing in here 
I had to pull all of this stuff out of storage, so that was a little longer than I expected. So next time, we'll work on the faucets and the sinks. Whoa, bright, dark. There we go. Okay, so that's it for today. Until next time, have a good one.